this video we'll be going over how to find arc length and area of a sector of a circle. But first we have to go over the idea of what a radian is. So I've drawn a circle here and let's call this a center. So then this is a radius, which we'll label R. So now I have some string here also. So we're going to measure out a piece that is going to be the length of our radius. And I'll just mark it with a marker so we know how long that is. So about here to here. Okay, so there's our radius piece. Now we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to see how many times we can wrap this around the circle and see how many radii that is. So we're going to mark it as we go. So this is going to be approximation. Here's the first marking. So that's one time. I started at the point right here. We're going to go around one more time. Here's a third time. Where'd it go? Here it is. So fourth time. One more will end up right here. And we'll see if we can get another one in there. Yeah. So if we count how many times we've gone around, so we started at here. So we've gone around, here's one radius, two radii, three, four, five six and there's a little piece right there that didn't get covered so it looks like there's about six times r plus some little piece we'll just call it p equals the circumference of the circle but we all know the circumference of the circle is given by 2 pi r and since pi is about 3.14 2 pi is about 6.28 so it equals 6.28 times r so that little piece must be about 0.28 so the idea of a radian, a radian like a degree is a measure of angle and how we're going to be looking at it is like this. So one radian is the angle formed when we go, when we take a radius of the circle and go to that point. So let's define it like this. So if we start at this point and we went around one radius, this angle formed is called one, one, one radian. Similarly, if we go around another one, now this whole angle formed is two radians, and so on. And if we do it equivalence, so we know that there are how many radians? 6.28 radians, we'll call it rad, in a circle. But there's also 360 degrees in a circle. So 6.28 is actually 2 pi. So 2 pi radians equals 360 degrees. So if we just do a little division, we see that 1 radian equals 180 over pi degrees. So that is the most important equivalence that we're trying to see here. 1 radian equals 180 over pi degrees, and that's also equal to, we pull out our calculator really fast, let's see that 180 divided by pi, oops, get rid of those. So at 57.3 57.3 degrees. So now that we have that concept in mind, we're going to go over to our big circle. We have a big circle here. So on this circle, we're going to have to find the center. Uh, I would actually like to do this correctly, so let's find the actual center. Here's a cool way to find the center. If you just fold this once, get a diameter. Fold it another time on top of itself, get another diameter. And where the two diameters intersect, is the definite radius. So we found the radius of the circle. And I also drew a couple on the center of the circle, and we found here's a nice radius that we can use. So uh, we're going to derive this one actually because it's kind of important. So we have, let's say we have some angle here. We'll call it x degrees. We're going to stay with degrees for a second. And this is s. We wish to find s, the arc length. So we see that, let's say this angle was 180 then s would be half the circumference, and x would be 180 degrees. So we see that there's a ratio. So x over 360. So that means the angle divided by the full uh, rotation angle equals that small arc length over the full arc length, or the circumference. So 2 pi r. So we're going to move the 2 pi r to this side. So we're going to have 2 pi r x over 360 equals s. We're going to do some division. So we have pi x over 180 times the quantity r 
equals s. And what is this pi x over 180? x is in degrees. Remember we had our equivalence on the other sheet. We had 1 radian equals 180 over pi degrees. Right? So that means that we can also write this as pi over 180 radians equals 1 degree. Just multiplying the pi and dividing by 180. So if 1 degree equals 180 over, uh, sorry, 1 degree equals pi over 180 radians, then x degrees equals x pi over 180 radians. And that is the quantity that's right here. So basically this theorem says that, I'm going to write inside the circle in black. If we wish to find the arc length, we just take the radius of the circle, which is here, and multiply it by theta. And that theta will be this angle x measured in radians. So that's our first major formula. And the second one, we'll just state. So let's say we wish to find the area of this sector. The area of the sector is given by 1 half radius squared theta, where that theta is again measured in radians.